All right, so in this video, we want to create that specific post page. And when you click on the post, it should take us to that specific posts page and show us the full text. So this is actually quite easy since we are using a resource controller. Let's close everything here and go back to our terminal. If we list our routes, we have this show route that is expecting a post as the dynamic parameter. And you can see it tells us that the show method in our post controller is in charge. So post controller and the show method which is down here and it already has the post instance as a parameter in it so much like what we did with our users post we want to create a different view for individual posts so first let's go to our post card component and right here where we are rendering the body of the post i want to add a link that would take the user to that page so let's add an a tag here i just want to add read more so with an html symbol which is an arrow so let's see how it looks. There it is. I'm just going to style it a bit. So just some blue text. And I also want to change this P tag to a span because I don't want it to be a block element. I want this A tag go right next to the words like this. All right, so in this href, now we need to pass the route. And the route we want to pass is this one, posts show. But remember, this is expecting a post. So we need to pass that down as well. So we can use the route helper function again and use posts.show. Then it is expecting a post, right? And we already have access to this post because we are inside our component and the post is a prop. So we can just pass it down here. So now if we click on this read more, of any post it will take us to a page and you notice the id is added up there so that was 16 if i maybe go to page 5 click on this one that is 7 all right so it is working we just have to create the view for it let's go back to the project under views hosts we want to create a new document i'm going to call it show.blade.php now this view is going to be very easy we just want that individual post so first we want to extend our layout then we want to have our postcard here so again postcard and remember this is expecting a post right so we need to pass it down through our controller let's go to our post controller and leave that open for now in our show function we want to first return a view so we created posts that show already and we want to pass down a post and the post we want to pass down is this one again very simple and all of this is because of that route model binding so all right so we have access to this post now we want to pass it down to this postcard but remember again this is not a primitive data so we want to use the colon and then use our valuable inside quotations so let's test this out i'm going to go to the home page and this new post by sarah i'm going to press read more we get to that page of course Let's go to page two. Let's open this post four by John. All right, so we get to post four by John and the URI is going to forward slash 21. So we know the ID of this post is 21. All right, so it's working and you can see how easy that was. But right now we are still showing the limited words. So if I open one of these posts that has a longer text we are still limiting that because that's what we are doing in our postcard so you can copy everything from the postcard and then paste it here and then get rid of this str words function or what i like to do is to add a condition here so where we are showing the body of the post inside our postcard component i'm going to add an if else block or directive and what i want to do is to accept a prop that i'm going to call it full so up here where we are defining our props, I'm going to define a full prop that by default is going to be false. Down here, I'm saying that if the full variable is false, do something, otherwise do this. So I'm going to copy this and paste it under this if block, get rid of this a tag, I don't need it anymore, and also get rid of this function, str words. So let's go back to our project. If we go to the home page, everything works the same way. And it would also be the same in that individual page but we can easily now solve that by going to our show template and add that full attribute that we said we expect so we could do this so we could set full set it to true now we get the full text or since this is a true or false attribute we could just pass it like this that means it's true so we are seeing the full text so again in our home page and in the dashboard the users would get the limited version of their posts body but if we go to that posts page we get the full text just by providing this attribute so that was how we can show individual pages for posts 
Next, we want to cover the delete functionality. 